flow like a boss welcome back everyone to another episode of civil textures my name is freddy and today we're gonna be looking on how you can set up your flow file before you start designing any drainage so basically we're gonna look on where you can find the information that you need and what design settings you should use and in the next future videos we're going to be showing you how to go step by step designing a drainage uh, model there is few ways we're going to cover them all so hit the sub button so let's begin first things first we need to grab our information we need first our area impermeable and permeable areas then we need our m560 and r ratio then we need our sar and soil type and hydrological region and then we need to know our climate change uh, percentage now i've done a previous video on the climate change percentage uh, i'll leave a link in the below or it should pop up a notification up so you can click on it and watch it now if your site was brownfield again watch the brownfield video that i've done previously so to start with let's assume that you got your areas in permeable and permeable areas what you need to go ahead and do is go to uk itself's website I'll leave a link in the description below and then we need to go to tools and surface water storage volume estimation we're gonna select our location uh, I selected my office Ben and Miko and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here grab our SAR M560 and ratio R and then we have our hydrological region so we're gonna go to our flow file we're gonna go to simulation settings we're gonna type them in so we've got a SAR of 20 we've got a ratio of 0.4 then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our return periods so 1 30 100 and the climate change let's assume for the sake of this video is 30 but you should watch my video that i've done before on climate change so you can get your climate change then what we're gonna do is we want to calculate our discharge rate now let's assume the site is greenfield so let's put our return periods that we want to calculate and then let's click the check discharge rates and then let's click calc now our site is greenfield we can use the ih124 method and let's say our positively drained area which is your impermeable is one hectare now our sar is 7.66 from the uk suds website soil index is four so we can if we select four it will automatically change to 0 0.47 as shown here and region we are in region four if we hit calculate it will calculate the q bar for us the one year 30 year and 100 year return period now if we hit okay so now let's go check our discharge volume so we need to input the information of the previous development is a pre-development discharge because the reason we want the volume is because the sfra the ea and the serious as manual i think all of them agree on the same principle that the volume that leaves your site before you develop it should remain the same or even less now that is difficult to achieve without infiltration however uh, if you know about Briam, then you can achieve it by reducing the runoff rate which we're not gonna get into in this video so we're gonna put our previous sites characteristics so it was like not point let's say 1.2 previously developed soil index is four we calculate a catch wetness index and then we return period 100 without the climate change so we hit calculate and we hit okay then we're gonna do a quick storage estimate it's storage estimate and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our values so if we want to calculate our storage for the 100 year based on a discharge of 16.6 all we have to do is put our return period climate change the impermeable area and 16.6 and then hit calculate if you have infiltration insert your infiltration coefficient just make sure it's in meters per hour that's how it's shown here so then we hit okay so now we're pretty much done with our simulation settings so we've these are all the settings as i said on the previous video that they are used for your simulation now we're gonna go to design settings we're gonna design our basically so now we're gonna go to our design settings so design settings is basically we're telling flow what we want to design and how it should design it so we want to design it for return period of one or two depending on what you're doing 
then we're gonna use England Wales if you want FSR or FAH if you have the values for FAH just input them we're gonna go for FSR for now and then we've got time of entry it's between four and eight usually we will go five time of concentration is at 30 maximum rainfall uh, I will gonna leave it 50 to be conservative but you can use 35 cleansing velocity you can get it from the source for adoption uh, volume 7 i think and 8 i think 8 has been enforced since april so for the water is one we want to connect from level to soffit and we've got minimum backdrop height and prefer cover depth which is again uh, based on the source for adoption now you're pretty much set to go but a little tip what you can go ahead and do if you know what you're already gonna have is could go to link types so let's say we know we're going to have a perforated pipe. So we're going to just type perforated pipe. And then we're going to add an auto increase from 75 mil. Now, perforated pipes can be shallower because they would be in a French drain. So we can have a cover depth of 450. That's based on the source for adoption 7. It says like if a pipe is in a area that no cars will be parked on it is a 0 0.45 cover. We can have pretty flat because it will be in a type 1 material. So basically, we don't want it to have it too steep. We want to have the material flat so it can fill up. And then we, we can say follow the ground. So it'll be like 500, like it will be following the ground. And then we can leave the velocity as 1. We can start the diameter from 150. Now, if you have an echo, for example, you can type an echo and model the echo by using an open user defined. So basically, you put your width and depth total. The tip is just put all the pipes that we'll be using that they are different from the standard pipes. So if you've got perforated pipe, echoes, swales, or even storages, I'll show you how to do a storage. So let's say you know already your tank is a five width by 1.5 height so all you have to do is storage and you name which storage you want so one if you have multiple storages then you're gonna go to close rectangular we're gonna put an auto increase of 50 that's required now for attenuation storages usually is 0 0.8 cover then we have a gradient of 500 and it will not follow the ground and the width we said it's by five meters and the height is by let's say 1.5 as i said sorry 1.5 so now when we design a pipe we can actually design our storage exactly how it is rather than the traditional method of putting our storage in a manhole and you can do the same with pipes you've got an adoptable but you can just type private and a model and, or ppic or tegra basically so you can if you want to go into the nitty-gritty and design everything exactly as it is you can even have gullies for example and just like give the dimensions of the gully and when you put the gullies and connect them into a manhole you can model that as well so to recap we went through our simulation settings so basically all the values that we'll use to do our simulation analysis and then we use uh, we've uh, input all our design settings so flow can know how to calculate things for us and then we went into the manhole types and link types so we can have them ready so when we're defining our network we can just drop down and click on them so I hope you found this video useful and I'm going to follow it up with a tutorial on how to design actually your drainage network. So if you've got an existing drainage network that somebody designed and you just have to model it, we're going to do that. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.